Hi guys, it's Ali for alanspy.com and another session of Ask Ali K. Now, although I did not get this question directly, it was a question I found roaming all over the internet. Now, I did cover this briefly in my Creating Cascading Text Effects in Maya. However, I thought it would be a lot better if I create a little video to show how to create an infinite plane inside of Maya. So let's head over and do it. Hi, welcome to Maya. Now, in my previous tutorial, on how to create cascading text effects in Maya, I created the infinite floor using a mental ray image based lighting sphere, a plane, yeah, a plane with a used background shader. And I had, if I go to that plane, you go to the used background shader, I had two two ramps that would kind of start off here and kind of fade out here so then I don't get the any information any shadows or any reflections onto the plane from the image based lighting sphere now in this one I'm chucking the book out and I'm doing something totally different so if we just go to a new don't see this okay now this is actually a really nice and creative way of doing it and it's really easy and it doesn't take a lot of rendering power and you don't have to worry about the sphere. There's no sphere, there's no image based lighting, nothing. You can use your own lights and you can implement it into any of your designs. Okay, so first things first, create a plane. So click that, plane, select that, press R, scale that right up scale as however you want I'm going to do that to like 70 okay and if you just switch that to one by one so we don't have extra polygon okay now select that right click go to assign favorite material and use auto use background and that's it you don't need to do anything with that shader anymore you can just leave that now the next thing we do we need is a sphere so if you click sphere switch to the orthopedic view side view just scale that up move that up scale it right up just get it to sit on that okay so now if we render this you won't see anything okay okay so if you select this right click go to assign favorite material and select the blend and let's have some red I like red all right so that's red we got that in there now the next thing we need to create is a camera so go to create camera camera now the most important part is this so listen up select the camera go to the attribute editor so you can press control a or select this button here yep this button here scroll down close this where it says environment select the environment and create an image plane now if you look here, we've got a massive image pane there. Now, I don't want an image, so if you change the type to texture, that closes everything, and change the texture, select this, and add a ramp node. So now we have a, a ramp texture. So let's just adjust the colors. You can have any color you want. So I want something like, let me select this, and then I'll switch to another blue, okay? And for the other side, I want exactly the same, only some more lighter. Okay, so we have that in there. Now select the camera, go to panels, look through selected, go to, actually let's go to settings first. So the settings, set this to mental ray, set your image format to TIFF or OpenEXR or whatever format you like. Okay, and set the renderable camera to camera one. And since I'm just going to be outputting an image, I'm going to do this in HD. So it's nice and big. Okay. Let's have a look here. You can turn the enable default light off because I, I'm going to add some lights in the scene. So, okay. Now go to quality. Now, since I'm going to be using shadows, so if I just up this to like two, okay, and uh, under shadows, no, if I go to uh, indirect lighting and just enable it, ambient occlusion. Okay, and that's why I close this. I don't need this anymore. Now go to view, camera settings, and select film gate. 
we'll just adjust this to where I want. Now I don't have to worry about what's going to happen in the background. No extra rendering while I'm working here. Nothing. Okay, so that's done. Now we need some light, so I switch to switch back to perspective view, and let's add some lights in the scene. So let's throw in go to create lights, and let's chuck a spotlight, and go to panels, look through selected, enable the light and the shadow, and then just zoom out. And just scroll in here. Okay, and if I switch back to perspective view, okay, there's shadow in there. So if I select that and just kind of soften it up a bit and just increase the drop off, and just increase the spot. Okay, now if I select the camera, go to panels, look through selected so I can see this and Okay, and there you have it. Now, we have the infinite plane, the nice gloss, the big dome, and the shadows. So, go out there and get creative. Well, and there you have it. Another question solved. Now, if you have a question that you want answering, please don't hesitate to contact us. So, you can hashtag at hashtag AskAliK, tweet to us at Alinspired, or me personally at AliKareem360. Or you can join us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Alan Spired. Or you could just leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye.